I'm at a very unusual road cut just outside of Helper, Utah. And why this road cut is so unusual is that when they uh, built this road, they uh, removed a section of hill here that exposed uh, an ancient coal seam fire. Um, this particular, I've looked it up on the internet, this particular site uh, happened during the late Cretaceous area, era, approximately 84 million years ago. And you can, this is a, a sedimentary, this was originally a sedimentary type deposit. You can see the uh, bedding layers of rock through this road cut. And so what happened here is what is referred to as a special type of metamorphism called pyrometamorphism. And that occurs when extremely high temperatures and low pressure uh, exist. And that is commonly associated with coal seam fires and that is what created this uh, actual huge cross-section here is what we're looking at of the geology of a coal seam fire those top layers up there were just uh, cooked but not melted but there's a lot of rock in here that got melted because of the extremely high temperatures and it looks just like lava rock. You can see this seam of molten rock running through this boulder here. The other interesting part about this location is the variety of colors. Coal seam fires are not at all unusual, but generally uh, they produce hues of red and brown. And those are the most common colors. However, as you can see here, this boulder just has an assortment of colors through it, as well as other areas have got a pretty pistachio green, like right in here. And this little spot right here has just got all kinds of color. It's got oranges, burnt orange, yellows, greens, some reds, just a whole assortment of colors. So this type of rock is commonly referred to as clinker rock. And the reason why it's called clinker rock is that when it has sort of a, a porcelain clink to it whenever it's banged against something, and therefore that's why it's called clinker rock. However, the technical and correct geologic name to this is bruchite, and again, that refers to the kind of rock that we've got here that was produced by these extremely high temperatures. There's another cool area down in here. This stuff is extremely fragile, as you can see. But I'm going to spend 
the morning here collecting because this makes some extremely nice colorful specimens. <laughs> 